Hi, I'm Katie from PDQ.com, and I'm here today to talk to you about the new .NET framework requirements for PDQ inventory. So you likely will have noticed that uh, whether you got an email or you've noticed your machines have started complaining at you that .NET 4.8 is required to scan machines. You'll see that here under the scan status that .NET 4.8 is not installed on this target. Luckily, uh, we tried to make this as easy as possible. I mean, if you've got to go get permission from somebody to go install it, that's probably the hardest part that you're going to do. But uh, here are the options for using PDQ inventory to install the minimum required version of .NET framework. So we're going to go to options and preferences. And then here on the .NET installation, you'll see the options for installing the .NET framework. If you're relatively new to inventory, or this is a brand new install of inventory, you'll probably want to hit the, dot, the download .NET Now button just to make sure that you get the most current version of the installer. Inventory will reach out to Microsoft and pull down the install file and put it in this UNC path for you. You also have the option to automatically install .NET, which if you just want to blast that out to all of your machines and not ever have to worry about it, I would recommend doing that. As inventory finds new machines where you add them, it will uh, upon first attempt to scan any machine requiring the .NET Framework 4.8, inventory will reach out and install that and then attempt to scan. If you want to have some more control over which machines get the .NET Framework, if you know you have users who may not be able to function if the .NET Framework gets updated in an untimely fashion, you can find the machine like this one. Here's Thor, who's missing the .NET Framework 4.8. Come over to Computer and install .NET and scan. You can do that for all the machines. You can do that for a couple of the machines. Either way you go, it's not very difficult to do. There we go. So it'll take a few minutes. Um, you'll see inventory go through and attempt to install. So you'll see after you hit the install button, uh, the computer's installing the .NET framework. The next thing that you'll need to do is reboot the target machines in order for the .NET framework to be fully installed. We have have a, had a couple people who have thought that the installation wasn't successful when re in reality, the only thing that the machine needed was a reboot. So maybe take that into account when you're uh, installing the .NET framework on your machines, just so you don't you know, anger Janice in accounting by rebooting her machine at 9.30 in the middle of a meeting. Be a little bit unkind. And then the other you know, tried and true standby is if we come over to deploy in the package library and look for the .NET framework, we have a package for this as well. You can install the required version of .NET with deploy. So, you know, good old standby, just in case you need that too. So, looks like our machine is scanning successfully. So we lucked out on that one, didn't need a reboot of that one. So I hope this has been helpful. This has been installing the .NET framework in order for inventory to scan. I'm Katie with PDQ.com and thank you for watching.